I wanted to speak on two issues. I wasn't given the chance to. When uh, Steve was finished, you asked if there were any more questions. I had my hand up. You didn't see oh, me. Sorry. This was one of the issues I'd like to I'd well, like to discuss. To speak on the other was the snowmobile thing. I didn't get a chance. I think that's more disruptive than uh, to me than I to speak at a meeting. I understand it wasn't deliberate. And I, <laughs> I have a question for Mr. Cassi. Am I more disruptive here, or was I worse over there? <laughs> when I was sitting in the I, I, top I, section, was I more disruptive? Which was I, was, uh, which way, where was I the worst? Jim, I, I think no matter where you are, you're at your worst. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> this committee... No, I'm just teasing. This commission set rules that the media has to follow. And... I have followed them to the letter. Well, I think, I think for example, uh, if they want people who would have cameras, I mean, all cameras in one area, that might be reasonable. Well, maybe. that's what Steve was asking for, was restrictions. Well, I didn't see that in the rules. Well, well, if you could point out to me in the rules where all people who are videotaping, broadcasting, etc. There's et a huge difference between videotaping and photographing. In, in, in a certain spot, I'd appreciate if you point it out to me because I didn't see it. I didn't ask for this. Well, uh, what I'm asking saying, questions, I'm asking you questions. Uh, the, well, the simple, the simple thing is, you're talking about harassment compared to snapping of someone's picture. There's a huge difference. When you pick and choose what you're going to use those photos for, the, the videotapes for, makes a huge difference. What? And uh, there's, I don't see how uh, the city commission, without any investigation or anything else, can repeatedly restrict my rights, but now all of a sudden there's an investigation as to the validity of uh, parks and recreation setting a set of rules too. Again, I don't see any of these rules that talk about cameras, etc. Uh, Was this discussion? TV cameras, all those in a certain physical location. That is not in those rules. Was this discussion ever held when it was decided I had to sit in a little taped box over by the grill in the back? I don't recall it. I don't think so either. Or how about when, uh, because I am well, I don't know impaired. that anyone has challenged those rules. <laughs> I am hearing impaired. Right now I have a very difficult time. I, seasonally I lose my hearing almost completely. And this is almost one of those times. When my cousin was passing the microphone so that people in the audience could hear, he was told not to do that. Well, your cousin, I believe, was being, if that was your cousin, I don't yeah. know, was that the kid who would, would run up to people and kind of go like this to I them? And, and, and you would find that, if I remember right, you found that quite amusing. I find whenever, it whenever, whenever he would do that, he did that to me, but to many people. And the reaction of myself and most people was when you're sitting here and you're talking, and all of a sudden my hand comes like this, the first reaction is to go like this, your section, or your next reaction. And I think that is somewhat disruptive. But sticking a video uh, camera in your face And I, as I understand, Jim, what they did was they said that people should go up to this mic and talk in this mic, and, and, and I don't think that that was, that, that was an unreasonable response to someone running around thrusting a, a microphone at somebody because people were flinching, people didn't like it, people felt they were being at our last attacked. meeting. And all I'm saying is, is that the understand the rule was to put have a microphone right on his face. When, when, the, when the topic didn't even, his name wasn't even brought up. All I'm saying is, is that it's, that's, that's, that, that, that I think was a reasonable At, at this point, Steve, I'll, 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 when, we get, when we get through this, when we do public comment at the end, can I have you address that? I want to kind of get through the agenda and address this. We've just been given an opinion by Mr. Cossie, and I'd like the, the commissioners to digest it a little bit. Maybe there could be some conversation that occurs uh, out, out of the context of the meeting tonight. But I don't really want to, don't want to have, I don't want to hash it out tonight. I think it's, it's an evolving process. It's a new, it's a new, uh, Entity, this uh, blogging and versus and public media and things like that. You know, it's, it's a hard arena to define, and I don't think we're going to do it here tonight. Yeah, and I would say that if you're going to be studying this, etc., the open meeting law is designed to be open, and I think it's a that's a tough tool to use to prevent spurious attacks on people on other websites. There are other remedies for that. I don't know that the Open Meeting Act is going to afford you a remedy. And 
Jim, could I address your second question at that public comment at the end also? Well, it's kind of pointless, but yes, we can do that. All right. Uh, if, unless you don't want to, I mean. And so, so thanks for that. Thanks for that opinion. Let's move on to uh, the uh, item J, which is Parsons.